Okay, so today's topic will be on this uh, Shopee troubleshooting, whereby I believe that uh, right now a lot of the client, they are starting to move into our Dynamo, they want to integrate this uh, Shopee, Lazada, SiteGiant with this Dynamo. So they want this uh, auto-synchronization of the invoice, uh, the product, one auto-matching, and quite a number of the requests is coming in. Uh, and currently, uh, as our feature is, is available, so it tends to have some uh, issue that happen along the way. So uh, let me just share with everyone a little bit about the issue that is frequently happen than encounter by a uh, help desk and how we troubleshoot on each of the each of the uh, issue so uh, okay let's just proceed so today there will be uh, five topics as mentioned by Eunice earlier which is uh, this Shopee product Shopee order uh, we go into this Shopee customer invoice and after that I will share with everyone uh, the additional information related to this uh, Shopee and Dynamo and what is the future enhancement in this uh, in our product for this integration? Okay, without further uh, ado, let me just share the first part, which is a Shopee product. Okay, the first, uh, there will be uh, five topics within this uh, part one. The first one will be this uh, stock ID, unable to match with this product ID in Shopee through the process manager enabled. Though the process manager is enabled, the second one is the stock balance and then add stock item so this is a summary of this part one so the next will be this uh the the first issue will be this stock id unable to match with the product id in shopee through this true process manager is enabled okay so first let's just uh, look at here when we go to this uh shopee store in this Shopee store management, sometimes we'll be able to see that in here, the stock ID is blank. The SKU and the product ID is available at here. Okay, this is the very frequent issue that's happening uh, if we are not doing any matching. So the first troubleshooting that we will be doing for this is that we check the setting in the Shopee store. First, we have to go to this Shopee store and then when we open the store, we look until at the bottom here, we will be able to see the download product setting. At here, we'll be able to see the match or SKU with stock ID or with the barcode. So that means uh, your SKU in the Shopee store, for example, is ABC. Then in the Dynamo, it should be ABC as well. You cannot in the Dynamo, uh, in the, sorry, in the Shopee store is ABC123, but you want to match to the ABC in the Dynamo, then you have to do some manual, uh, manual matching in here. So when we take this one, then in the process manager, it will be uh, doing the automation for the matching. Okay, so the second step uh, for the troubleshooting, we need to check whether is the stock ID or the barcode is fixed in the inventory stock. If not exist, then we need to uh, create the matching stock ID or the barcode, like for example, ABC123. It's not exist in the stock maintenance. Then we have to create ABC123, just like that. Okay, the third troubleshooting is that if your client is using Dynamo mode version 2021.1 and build zero before this version, you are unable to matching with the multi-UOM. The stock item cannot consist of the multi-UM, else there will be an error. Then if your client has multi-UM and they want to do the matching for the multi-UM, then you have to upgrade to the latest version. It only support from this version onwards, 2021.1 build zero. Okay, then the third, the stock ID must not be matched with another Shopee product. That means you cannot match with uh, the ABC in the uh, in this Dynamo, you cannot match with ABC in the Shopee and ABC one two three. Uh, if not, then there will be a uh, behind there will be a checking issue And then the third, 
you have to verify in the Shopee, the product SKU didn't contain any space in the front or at the back. Else, the system also cannot recognize your stock ID because the stock ID, when download to the Dynamo, it will not be auto trained. If not, then your Shopee also cannot recognize the same SKU. Okay, let us proceed. Okay, second issue will be this. Uh, why my stock balance in the Shopee store is not matching with the stock balance in the Dynamo. Okay, for example, in the stock maintenance, we'll be able to see the balance quantity is 153, but in the Shopee store, when we downloaded to this Dynamo, we'll be able to see the stock balance is 53. This means it's missing uh, 100. Why is not matching? Okay, the troubleshooting will be, first, we have to check whether is it a multi-UM stock? Is it be matching with the multi-UM stock? Because in the stock maintenance, when we are doing this multi-UM, uh, in the Dynamo, it will be by base UM or converted to the respective UOM stock balance. So that's why uh, this stock balance in the Dynamo is not representing the stock balance in the Shopee. We have to verify this one. So uh, your, as well, you have to know your version before we start troubleshooting on this, whether is it supported the multi-UM or not. And then for the second one, if, uh, yeah, this is the third one. The second one, which is I mentioned earlier, we have to check the version, the multi-UM, and then if you want to use the multi-UM to do the matching, and then we have to update to the latest view. Okay, uh, let us proceed to the issue three, which is when we add stock item in the stock maintenance to the Shopee store, we will encounter error. What is the error? Okay, sometimes we will encounter this object reference not set to an instance of an object. Uh, so uh, sometimes you will encounter this one. Uh. Okay, how we troubleshoot this one? First, we have to ensure that all the mandatory information are provided. Okay, the mandatory information are provided means that we have to fill in and come back to the earlier screen. We come back to this uh, description. We have to fill in the description. It's not grabbed from the item. Uh. Have to remember this. We have to update, make sure, and then the image URL is blank. Uh, logistic is blank. So basically, uh, if we are leaving this logistic is blank or image URL is blank, then the message at here will be clearer. Lah. So basically, when you see this object reference not set to an instance of Android, that means that there is something in here is incorrect. So the second troubleshooting will be, we have to download this latest category and the brand from this, uh, from this uh, Shopee, where we want to do the category matching in here. Okay, next, num issue number four. Okay, uh, I just saw some question here, whereby is there any message alert me when matching the Dynamo store ID or the barcode? If the Shopee product SKU cannot contain space in front or back, I apologize for that. There is no alert message at the moment. Uh, okay, okay. What error will prompt out if my version is lower than 2021 when I do matching multi UM item? Uh, apologize for that. Uh, currently, I'm not encountered any error message at the moment for this. So, if you want to use the multi UM, then just uh, basically you just need to update to the latest version. Okay, let me continue the fourth issue the prompt error message wrong sign. Uh, this is sometimes uh, you'll be able to see like this. Hold on. Okay you'll be able to see the error message such as this one, uh, wrong sign. What is mean? What is this mean? Okay. First, we need to check in the, in the uh, description there, we cannot have specific symbol, like for example, the finger quote or the arrow key. Uh, for example, this one, uh, like this, you have any symbol, symbol then is not supported for the API to send the item to the store there. Uh, this is what we encountered uh, previously in, uh, and we did speak with this uh, Shopee help desk and they, they, the programmer informed us that 
uh, symbol is not supported. Okay, the second will be we are uh, the API is not allowed to add Chinese character, even though in the Shopee website itself you can uh, manually key in the Chinese character. The API is not supporting for this. Okay, as we can see from this, uh, this is the information that provided by this, by this, uh, the Shopee programmer, whereby the API bridging, uh, the name, name of item in local language that's mean in the English is not supporting for other language. Okay, so next we come to this issue five. Some of the SKU will appear duplicated in Shopee product. Why is happen like this? This is because uh, multiple user is doing the downloading for the item at the same time. So that's why it will appear two lines at here. So how we troubleshoot this one? Basically, we will use this script. Uh, you can get this later uh, from the slide and then you can uh, run this script to check in the database whether is there any any uh, duplicate stock then after that once you run this script and then what you can need to do is that just provide all the information and log case then we will help you to further provide the checking and then after that only we will uh, we will give you the script to resolve the issue okay so as a summary uh for the shopee product already covered is that stock id unable to match with the product id in the shopee though the process manager is enabled the second issue is the stock balance not matching Third, have error when we add the stock item and then the prompt error message wrong sign and the sku will appear duplicated yeah so yes. uh let me interrupt a while because i want to make sure that everyone is following us and uh, everyone is uh can get the information or the the knowledge they want to transfer in this part one so i see some questions here i would like to just uh let let take away answer our questions here then before we move to part two and if you have any uh confusion if you still have any confusion during this part please welcome you to uh, type in the chat or you can raise your hand and you can speak to us, right? Okay, so I see a, a, a question that I say, so if the client, the Shopee product have used a variant SKU, which you know that in SKU, uh, when, we, when we set up a new product in the Shopee seller center, then you if your product is like have multiple color, then you can set variant, right? So how, you, how they can know that they match the stock ID or barcode automatic? when they download from Shopee. Okay, basically for this uh, variant, um, we have two options. First of all, we can do the manual matching because uh, sometimes you have different variants, but all of these variants, you are pointing to the same stock ID. And then another one is that this variant is representing the multi UOM. It depends on your, uh, it depends on on this, uh, how you want to do the matching actually. Okay. So just now in the earlier, I mentioned that you cannot point this ABC to the uh, SKU ABC and SKU ABC one, two, three. This is for two different uh, stock ID in the shopping. It's not the variance. Huh? If variance, then we can have multiple row. Okay. Uh, Kelvin, so is that okay with you? Okay. If you so, have further issue, then we will uh, answer later. Yes. Okay, so I then uh, continue what's about also product matching. Uh. So right, how do we know, how do we know uh, the product download setting is better to match stock ID or barcode? What situation are you In what situation? It depends mm -hmm. on your industry actually. So if let's say your, most of your item is only based UOM, then it's preferable by the store ID. But if you have multi UM like hardware shop, or they have, uh, for example, the screw, they have different type of the variant, even the size as well. So in that matter, maybe you use the barcode because every uh, stock UOM, every stock multi UM, uh, you have different 
different this barcode to represent the uh the what the multi UM lah in this nano mode. Mm -hmm. So in the SKU in the Shopee there, they also have different uh this variant as your barcode lah, just like that. Okay. So okay. Yeah, just now you, you provide us some script to check for some error, right? If that's happened. So yes. do we do we know that this, is there will be any enhancement for to prevent the SKU duplication in Shopee? Because maybe sometimes it's not possible to always check by script. Okay, for this part, uh we will until the end, then I will share with everyone right. what is the enhancement for this part. All right, all right, okay. thank you. Uh about one last question. Uh any message prompt for the duplicated store ID in the system? Uh, currently, as I know, uh, there is no message for that. Lah, unless the user will be uh, checking it. And then for the second, about the duplicated store ID, how do we know which is the accurate Shopee product in China mode? So normally, the duplicated store ID actually both in the same record. It's just that the two person is now loading the stock item at the same time. So that's why in the system will appear two row in the record. But basically, uh, this is very rare situation and not happening always. As I mentioned, it's very rare. So just in case if you have encountered this one, then just let us know. Then we will check in and then after that, we will uh, provide a solution for this one. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's all. Uh, because uh, I think today we have this about 88 slides and we are just only quarter of it. <laughs> so can I proceed for the next? Okay, uh, yeah, everyone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Thank if you. you still have any question about this part, maybe uh, you can type then after that, we have still have a Q&A section to answer you all. Okay. Okay, during the Q&A, I will allow everyone to talk. Uh, okay, so uh, let, let me proceed. Just write down your question first. After that, uh, we will do the Q&A later. Okay. Okay. Part two, we will go for this Shopee order. And in this part, we have these two issues for the Shopee store management, show duplicate order, and some of the order is not appeared in the Dynamo. Okay, for the first part, uh, the Shopee order was duplicated. Okay, the same issue as the product earlier. This is the issue caused by two users performing the manual download order at the same time. Okay, because they are not using the process manager to allow the process to download. They are going to the Shopee order there and then they do the function and then download order manually. So two person doing at the same time, then the, the same order will be created. Uh, you see, you can see it here, the time, the create time, it just uh, less than zero seconds. So, so uh, it's very rare situation, but it still happened, okay? So we also provide the script checking for this part. And then once, uh, we check and then we'll see the result. Oh, okay, we have these two duplicated order and then you see uh, there's a four same rows at here. Okay. So once you have this, then you just need to provide the information, lock case, and then we will further checking and then we delete the record and then download again, just like that. Because some situation is that uh, we cover the part one, for this duplicated, then maybe the second scenario it happened. So we would like to check more whether is it the same issue or different issue for that. So we prefer that everyone can lock case, and then if it's very urgent, then uh, just delete it, and then after that maybe provide the backup, and then we check from there. Okay. Second issue. Some of the order is not appear in the Dynamo. Okay. This is a six step for the checking, for the troubleshooting. So first, we have to check whether is your store, Shopee store, is active. If you untake this active, then of course the order will not be downloaded. Second step, we try to get the information again from this Shopee store setup screen. We go to this uh, Shopee store more and then get shop information. Just to refresh your information, if your store there has any changes. Okay, third step, refresh data on the Shopee store management. We try to refresh it because sometimes uh, it will appear like this blank. So we just refresh the data and then see whether it appear again. Okay, 
for the port, check your order date range because by default, the order date range by default it is 30 days, one month. So if your order is fall on 12 or 11 of the June, then uh, you have to increase the range manually. Okay, next, the fifth, you have to check whether is your store selected to be downloaded in Process Manager. What does this mean? This means that in the Dynamo, you come to this Shopee store and then at the bottom here, you see download order setting. You have to take this one, download Shopee order. If you untake this one, this means that you have to go to the Shopee store management there and then you have to click function and then manual perform the download Shopee order. If you take this one, then you just need to wait for the process manager and then perform the automatic download. Okay, and then you have to verify what is the your download order date is at here. Okay, the last troubleshooting for this uh you have to check is the download Shopee order function is set in the process manager or is the process manager is running or not. You have to check this one. So you have to ensure that here have this download Shopee orders. Okay, so if not functioning or the process manager is automatic closed, then you have to uh, manual start again and then you manual press execute selected task to make the order to download first. Okay, with this, I conclude for the section two. Uh, for this uh, show duplicated order and some of the order is not appear in the Dynamo. This is the frequent issue for this order. Uh, it's not uh, order issue in this Dynamo that we encountered. Okay, we have two questions at here. So uh, one of the question is log case, how many days to solve it for the duplicated order issue if the case is urgent. So once you log the case, you can inform to me uh, through the WhatsApp and then I will ask the programmer to follow up or the help desk to follow up on your issue immediately. Uh, we, are, we are treating this uh, uh, duplicated order as urgent matter. We go to this uh, Shopee customer invoice. We have three issues in here, uh, which is the first cannot generate. Uh, all of these three issues actually is uh, unable to generate the customer invoice. Just that uh, this different error, which is the uh, generate customer invoice function, is being used by another program for specific order status and due to the missing required information. Okay, first we come to this error generate customer invoice function is being used by another program. I believe that some of you uh, is frequently encounter this part whereby uh, when we open the Dynamo, we want to generate the customer invoice because we found that this, uh, the customer invoice is not functioning, uh, it's not generated. So when we open this uh, customer invoice, then we, uh, we encounter this issue. So how to troubleshoot this error? First, we see the cause. Mostly, this issue is caused by the process manager or the Dynamo. The Dynamo is forced to be closed before completing this generate customer invoice function. Because in this, uh, in this Dynamo, we have a table to store the record to lock the uh, generate customer invoice. This is a prevention for multiple user is generating the same invoice at the same time. So only one person is allowed to generate this customer invoice. So in this case, the process manager and the Dynamo is processing, but you go and end task or the internet is disconnected in the midst of this uh, generating customer invoice. So the field value, which is being used to lock, it cannot be updated to unlock. Uh, to complete the function. So in this, the solution, we just need to run this uh, scripting, uh, update the NC Shopee store, set the log field to end. So we run this script after we check that uh, generate customer invoice function is not running in Dynamo or the process manager. Once we run this script, then we just need to open back the process manager or the Dynamo and wait for the process. To start generate all the emotion is not generated. Okay, for this, uh, we go to the second issue. 
So we are unable to generate customer invoice for Shopee order for specific order status. So some I encounter that user will ask me, hey, why my open status Shopee order is not generating the customer invoice? Then I will let the customer know that we have to come to this uh, in the in the Shopee store. We come to the footer there, the bottom there. You'll be able to see the status. So in here, when you open it, the generate customer invoice section, the status. When you open it, then you see which part you take. Then only, excuse me. Then only the order with the specific status, like for example the ship or the completed, will be generating as a customer invoice. So next, for the third issue, we are unable to generate this customer invoice due to missing required information. Uh, this is very frequent issue. Okay. Okay. How we troubleshoot for this? First, we have to manually select the order that's not able to generate and click create customer invoice. Okay. Like for example, as we can see from here, this is the list of the item that is not generating any customer invoice, even though we already set the automation in the process manager. So at here, we manually take, take this one, select it, and then we go to this function, and then we click create customer invoice. After we create this customer invoice, then we will be able to see the result as at here. So in this screen, as we can see, this is another sample. Eh? But the issue is the same, whereby we have to see this customer is blank after generated. And then the second issue in this third item is missing stock ID. So basically, if we are using this uh, process manager to automate generating the customer invoice, so the same order, the same order, uh, all the stock ID must exist. If one of the stock ID is not exist, then the system will not automated help you to generate this uh, this customer invoice. It will leave it at the order screen there. Okay. So how to troubleshoot this? We have we come to this Shopee store, and then we have to check. First, we check whether is it the customer ID, is it as what we key in, and it exists in the customer screen. And then for the second, we have to go to this Shopee store, the product, and then check whether is it the stock ID is matched or not. If not matched, then you have to perform the manual matching for this stock ID. And then after that, you can go back to the order screen and then you generate the invoice already. Okay. So with this, we conclude the part three, which is uh, unable to generate the customer invoice uh the the issue to specific order status cannot generate the customer invoice and the third part we are missing this required information so we are cannot we, we are not able to generate this customer invoice so basically if we are using this uh sales order to generate so the issue also the thing as well this is how we troubleshoot the sales order and the customer issue customer invoice issue okay so let's see, we have another question. Why the invoice date not follow invoice generate date? Okay, basically for this question, in the older version, in the earlier version, uh, we have this invoice date, we follow this generate. So that means uh, the invoice is one month ago, then you today only generate your invoice. So basically in the operation wise, uh, in the operation wise, by right on your shipped shipped uh, invoice day for your order online order, the invoice should be follow this uh follow this order date. But this is also like the chicken and the egg. Okay, this is depending on user operation. Most of the user operation is that uh we make the changes to follow the order date. Just like this. If you have further inquiry for this part. Then I suggest that you can uh, look for our salesperson and we have a uh, more discussion on this uh, problem.
for this requirement. Okay, next question. Wow. Okay, we have a lot of questions here. Okay, just give me another one more minute. From message generate in more function being used, if run the script to its log, you cause duplicate order. Yes, it will. So that's why uh, we have mentioned earlier in this part, we have to ensure that the, the process manager and the dynamo is not running any generic invoice function. Then only we run the script and then after that we open back the process, then only we uh we generate this invoice. Okay. Uh in this situation to click on manual download product and order, since process manager we auto download it. So basically, basically uh in what situation? Okay. One of the situations that I can think about it is that sometimes our process manager is not functioning. We cannot get this uh, latest stock ID, uh, latest product, latest order. Because we are in the workstation, we don't know how the server is processing. So in this, uh, in this situation, we can manual download the product and the order lah, in this method. Okay, and then for the second question, Previous product at Shopee have variant product and do match it at Dynamo, but user do delete the variant at Shopee. This issue is invoice not auto directed. Okay, for this part, uh, for the second issue, I will be answer at the later of the slide because uh, because in the later slide we will cover for your second question you want. Okay, for the third one, how to ensure the invoice not generate running at system and I run the script got anywhere to check. I apologize for that. Uh, we don't have anywhere to check, but basically, basically for this uh, generic invoice uh, is usually done by one person. So in this, uh, in this method, that person just need to log out or we run at maybe one or two hours later, we tell the person, okay, I will do your issue in one or two hours later. Then after that, we go to the server and then we run the script. After that, we tell the user uh, it's been resolved. So this is how uh, I handle this such uh, scenario uh, for the it was not generated or running. Okay, <sighs> just give me a minute. Is the additional information for this Shopee? Okay, we have five information we'd like to share with everyone. And then uh, this is the summary. So let me go for the first information. Okay, some of the client did ask us, is there any bulk at new item? to the Shopee seller center. I don't want to select one by one of the item. I want to select 10 items and then I uh, bulk upload to the, to the Shopee store. I apologize for that to tell everyone that we have checked with this uh, Shopee programmer. There is no API available for this bulk add function. And for the second criteria is that we have to manually select each of the item category attribute then only we can upload to the Shopee store. Like for example, the picture, you have to manually add your picture. The second is that the, uh, for this, uh, what description and then your weight, height, your, your what, your logistic, quite a number of these uh, attribute you need to manually select. So basically, uh, there's no this function at the moment. Okay, so we go for the second information. Uh, Yvonne, this is to answer your question earlier. For this uh, Shopee product or the variant deletion. Okay, first, if, uh, if your variation at the Shopee store there is created and then have the order. Okay, when you download to this uh, Dynamo, this deleted product or variation will not be reflected on this Dynamo database. So you have to prevent your client uh, from removal of the product or the variation before the customer image is created. Else, else you, are, you, cannot, uh, you cannot create your customer image. Okay, for the third one, if you want a list of this deleted product or the variation, variation from this Shopee, I apologize to say that, you have to manual search for yourself. 
we don't have this list at the moment. Okay. So for the third additional information, we have this uh, document year month number prefix currently is supported in all of our marketplace, the site giant, Lazada, Shopee, in generate this customer invoice function. So for example, for example, uh, we can come to this Shopee store and then at here, we follow document prefix. After that, we select, select, and then we select this prefix that has the year month format. This is supported right now. So if your version is still old, then you have to upgrade to the latest. If not mistaken, this, uh, this enhancement uh, is available in our current latest 2021.2, build zero. So just go to the latest and uh, you'll be able to use this function. Okay, the fourth information will be this. Shopee new product category have changes on this Shopee API. This is effective from the mid of the June. So in your event, if you encounter this object reference not set to an instance of an object as earlier, so you just need to come to this uh, select category and then you perform this download category. After that, you'll be able to add your select your new category and then, and then you can uh, add to the Shopee store already. Okay, the fifth information, currently Shopee store in Dyna mode is not supporting for multi-company in one database. This is recommended to separate to different database for different company. One of, it, of the issue is that uh, the function is not functioning when we are cross-checking through the different company in same database. And there will be error prompt when we are updating this price or quantity, same quantity, create and generate custom invoice as well. This will be failed to work. Like for example, we have this uh, company A and company B, and then we have the same stock item. We want to map to uh, different stock, uh, different Shopee ID within the same database. So there will be some cross-checking and the confusion. And currently we are not designing this Dynamo to support multiple company in one database. So hopefully if your client is using a uh, multi-company within one database and you are interested to use our Shopee, Shopee integration, then first you have to separate out all the database to different, uh, separate all the company to different database first. You have to do the, uh, maybe a cut off and after that only we can start using this uh, Shopee. Okay. Okay, with this, uh, I conclude the part four. Okay, this is the five topic. And let me check, uh, there's some question over here. Shopee has Excel template to bulk upload the item. Okay, how come Smart unable to do bulk update stock item to Shopee? So this is uh, tend to, uh, for their API actually. So the API doesn't provide any bulk update stock item to the Shopee, lah, just like this. So Hakim, add stock to Shopee from stock maintenance. Product image there, ask to key in image URL. Can we select image from computer? I apologize for that. Uh, currently, we not able to select image from computer for this part, uh, Amir, uh, Hakim. So uh, if you would like this one, then I think maybe you can log a case and then we see how is it. Okay, since no more, then I proceed for the last part which is the future enhancement. Okay, uh, it's quite fast for today. Okay, the last part for the Shopee, Shopee enhancement. Okay, we have two enhancements uh, currently. And then the first one, enhancement one, the Shopee product and order duplicate check. Okay, earlier there is someone uh, answering, uh, questioning for this. Lah. Is there any checking for this part? So we are putting this uh, announcement for the checking in the pipeline, whereby uh, as I was uh, I able to get the information is that this function will be on schedule checking and remove if found duplicate product or orders. 
and this is an automated function uh, actually so uh for this part until uh until it further come out then i will brief more on this how it functioning but basically the the concept that we are getting is that uh, it will be on schedule checking and automated deleting okay so for the second enhancement we have added this uh auto sync for all product quantity that consists of the movement so that your user your customer no need to manually eh, i want to go to uh shopee or uh, shopee product there and then i select which item and then after that you click manual click the function and then update stock quantity like that this is uh this 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 feature this announcement is ready but we are not yet released so once it released we will inform everyone on this so just a sneak peek for everyone the function is available and here will be don't see the uh, the whole fix uh, actually we just added for the testing purpose and then uh, in if you are using the whole fix 8 actually this function is not ready lah. actually it's in the next uh, we'll announce that so uh, for this part we added this auto sync quantity setting and then we just need to take this uh, sync quantity to Shopee either by company or the by location out oh, and then uh the last thing that uh, this is the when we want to start okay so uh the system will automatic check uh if by company this item has any movement then we will update to the shopee store or by the location if you have generated any shopee invoice or any movement from there then it will auto update to the shopee store so after we do this setting, then we have to setting in this uh, process manager. Process manager will be available for this uh, function. Uh, and it was uh, available for three marketplace, uh, the marketplace, Shopee, Lazada, and the site gen as well. Okay, so with this, uh, we conclude the whole day presentation, the sharing on this troubleshooting, five part. Uh, which is the last part, lah. the five part is two enhancement currently within the pipeline. Okay, so we come to this uh, last question. So come back to just now, Kevin, uh, the beginning of session, you have asked this. Set, okay, may I know when, when I set up the Shopee store in Dynamo, it is compulsory to match the Shopee token, Shopee credit and Shopee voucher? Is it compulsory? I, I uh, for this part, for this part, I would say uh, yes, lah, because sometimes you will be providing providing this uh, token or the credit or the voucher by yourself to the client. But sometimes uh, this information is uh, free by the Shopee. So in accounting, in accounting, uh, I think we have to take into account lah, for this uh, token or the credit or the voucher that as our own, we give to the client, to the buyer. But maybe not all the seller will give my so yeah when, so when you set not, up yeah 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 correct so it depends uh, actually it depends on everyone uh, actually if if you say it depends it means that it's not compulsory uh, right yes correct I would say that yeah yeah so okay so if they have to put in uh, you need to match it uh, you need to match it like the few item like normally as stock uh yes correct. Yeah, correct. Like the stock item, like normally we add stock like that. So if if you are not uh doing any any Shopee token or add in as a normal stock, then you'll be able to see uh like for example one of the flight whereby the Shopee token everything is a blank stock ID just like that. Let me just uh browse back which slide of okay. it. You can see from here if you're not doing any uh stock ID. For this uh, shipping fee, the voucher, the coin, the token, then you'll be appearing like this blank. Lah. As at this bottom, hopefully you can see from here eh, because uh, it's, quite, it's quite bottom at here. Okay. So if you have this stock ID, then if you want to do any adjustment for the account, then you have to do the uh, something like journal entry perhaps from this sales account, then you pass back to pass back to this uh to your ref, uh, preferable account la, or you can map to the stock GL account something like that la. you can do like this 
Okay, and also some questions about, just now you say about the auto sync, which is in the enhancement part. Auto sync for stock item. Yeah. 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 Is included, is only for quantity or it will include the, the changes of pricing? Uh, I get the information is about the quantity only. It's not about I, the pricing. I, I think the full information, we will, we will explain it further when we have the product uh, release briefing. Yeah, correct. You are correct. You are correct. So, so like you all know, every quarter or every two months when we have the product briefing, then we will have a section to specifically tackle about every uh, important updates. Yes. Okay. So, uh, there's another question. Shop, Shopee shipping voucher and coin, I can't set to account code for expenses account. Uh, Yes, correct, because uh, actually system design is not allowed the stock maintenance there to uh, select the expenses account, lah, if I'm not mistaken, at the moment. Uh, why. Basically, the shopping, shipping, voucher, coin is a sales adjustment. La. Sales adjustment. Uh, because it related to sales, not yeah. your office expenses. That's why you cannot choose expenses account. Yeah, correct, correct, because there's a question for that. <laughs> so the solution is actually have to choose the... Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I need to generate this few item, yes, Kevin Su, if you want to generate this few item, then you I suggest that you can use this stock GL posting to define the posting account. Else you will be uh you will always need to check your stock sales analysis for the for this few item, the shipping voucher coin. And then after that, you have to get the sales total and then you have to manually uh, do the journal entry adjustment for this uh, from the sales to the to the sales adjustment like that. So if you do this stock GL posting, just one time work only, then after that, you'll be easier every month. You don't need to do any adjustment. For this uh, Shopee, Shopee voucher coin, they will automatic posting to the respective the GL posting account uh, for, like, for that. So another question is that, uh, the process manager error troubleshoot. So basically, the process manager uh, error troubleshoot today, I'm not covered. But basically, the error message is that almost the same, like I would say that uh, actually it's almost the same as this, uh, the main screen. But if let's say this, uh, you have any error for this process manager, then just lock the case. Lah. Because today I apologize that I didn't cover any for the process manager. Okay, why, why got auto-generate invoice, no auto-generate sales order? Mm, yeah, because basically, basically the client, uh, they will select the status uh, directly. It's cheaper. So the item is already deducted and then the amount sometimes is already come in. Uh, so that's why I think that if you're using this sales order, uh, sales order actually is uh, not related to this uh, inventory and the account as well. So even you generate this sales order, uh, it's something like, oh, I'm coming in to the number first. That one to pending until uh, I generate the invoice like that. We call the uh, drop, sh drop shipping process. Uh, some of the merchants yeah. they prefer doing the less customer on order, but the shipment will be delayed. That's why they need to create the sales order first. They log in the PO, only the stock arrival, they issue the invoice. This is how the, why the sales order comes to pictures. So. Okay, just so I did mention about the manual create invoice to select the stock ID itself. The price will follow Shopee price. I apologize for that. If we are manual create the invoice to select the stock ID, it will follow the price one in the stock maintenance. It will not follow the Shopee price. So we have to manual change the Shopee price. Refer to my variant SKU matching. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me for that. Okay, stock matrix. Is it this one stock metrics generate stock ID and barcode in Dino mode and Shopee is using SKU variant to define the shoe size. Dino mode only can auto match the Shopee product with main SKU. Uh, stock metrics generate stock ID and barcode in Dino mode. Shopee is using SKU variant to define shoe size. Main SKU. Uh, yeah, you are correct. You have to manual uh, do the matching for this one. Lah. 
because every hey, hold on uh, let me see stock id in dynamo is different barcode also different so your shopee is using the variant to define the shoe size but all is the same as ku auto match the shopee product with main sku uh, I will not say that one is correct because your same all your Shopee product is the same as KU, but in the Dynamo, the stock ID all is different. So basically, uh, in this matter, maybe you can use the barcode, barcode to match with your variant. This is my suggestion, uh, because uh, there is a different different scenario. But I can think is the this is a very standard scenario. And uh, you can try for that. A dynamo add column for stock balance allocation by percentage to marketplace. This is a very good request, but uh, as normal, you can send your email, your request enhancement to uh, our salesperson uh, for this part. Auto generate invoice will be created when Shopee customer or uh, create order receive. Gen auto generate invoice created when Shopee customer create it order receive. It depends on your status actually for this part. So if your selection for this part is uh, you select the open in the open status because the open status is when your Shopee customer or, uh, order is received, then you can start to generate the invoice as well. So it depends on your uh, the status in the Dynamo. Shopee store there, what you would like to start your point to create the invoice. Uh, thank you, Tekwai. Thank you for today's hey, session. Thank you. Uh, I would like to end the section here. Everyone stay safe. Thanks and see you again next week. Bye.